Hello, my name is Nadia Tanova, and I'm the owner of NHD Consulting. I'm partnering with the APIA Health Forum to bring you this video on how to seek foundation grants for your nonprofit organization. I want to note that today's video is specifically focused on seeking grants from foundations rather than seeking government grants. The process for seeking these two types of funding can be different. So the steps that you'll be learning today should be utilized when seeking funding from foundations in particular. Foundations can often provide more flexible funding and can be a great asset when growing the work of your organization. I'm going to take you through a six step process for seeking foundation grants. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of how to identify potential foundation partners and how to begin cultivating relationships with those potential partners. Let's get started. Step one, start by being clear on what you're seeking funding for. Foundations often fund specific programs or projects rather than providing general operating support. That means that you should be clear about the programs your organization needs additional funding for and how those funds would allow you to launch or scale up that project. For example, do you provide health education to teens? How much additional funding would you need to reach more children or to provide more in-depth education to them? Or do you want to launch an innovative new public health outreach program? What funding would it take to get it off the ground once you factor in staff, overhead, programming, marketing, et cetera? These are the types of questions to ask within your organization to ensure that you have a specific program or project in mind before even starting to look for potential foundation partners. Step two, once you know the specific program that you're seeking funding for, it's time to start looking for those potential foundation partners. The goal for this step and for step three is to generate a broad list of potential foundation partners. The first place that I always recommend looking is at your local community foundation. Community foundations are charged with supporting their local communities. They are often easier to build relationships with because of that local focus. And they generally have the flexibility to distribute funds quickly and to invest in smaller nonprofit organizations, particularly those who are new to receiving foundation grants. Larger national foundations may take months or even years to build a relationship with and to receive a grant from them. But community foundations, because they deeply understand the local needs and wish to invest in community-driven solutions, are typically more readily accessible and open to supporting new partners. Step three, build your list of potential foundation partners. After you've looked at your local community foundation, it's time to expand your search of potential foundation partners. There are many ways to do this. I usually start with a simple online search for foundations that fund similar programs to the specific one that I'm seeking funding for. If you are familiar with any foundations by name, look at their websites to see if any of their programs or priorities overlap with yours. You can also look at nonprofit organizations doing similar work and see who is funding them. Keep in mind that many nonprofits list their foundational partners on the website. Also ask organizational stakeholders, including board and staff, if they know of or have any relationships with foundations that might be interested in supporting your specific program. Remember that the goal here is to generate a broad list of potential foundation partners. Step four, narrow and prioritize your list. Now that you have a broad list of potential foundation partners, it's time to narrow it down and prioritize the foundations that you wish to build a relationship with in order to seek funding. You can do this by conducting more in-depth research into their work, priorities, and their current grant partners. Start by looking at each foundation's mission and vision to be sure that there is an alignment with your own work. Look at their programs and their funding priorities. Look at their grants database to see examples of recently funded work. Check to see if they have any geographical regions that they prioritize. Have a clear idea of not only the foundations that you want to approach, but also which one of their programs you think your work might fit into and how it might specifically align with funding priorities. 
also pay attention to the foundation's board and staff members to see if you or any of your organization's stakeholders have a connection to someone affiliated with the foundation. Having a personal introduction to someone at the foundation may make it easier to connect with the program officer before blindly submitting a proposal, which is a best practice that we're going to discuss in step five. If your organization stakeholders do not have any connections with the foundation staff and or board members, look to see if any of your nonprofit partners receive funding from them. These partners may be willing to introduce you to their program officer or to someone else within the foundation. Remember that at the end of this step, you should have a targeted list of a few foundations that you have prioritized to approach and discuss funding for your specific program. Step five, attempt to have a conversation with a program officer at each foundation on your target list. It is always better to speak with a program officer about your project before blindly submitting a proposal or a letter of inquiry, if at all possible. Program officers deeply understand the work of the foundation and can help you to better understand their funding priorities, how you might fit in with the foundation, and even help you think through and shape your proposal. Again, lean on stakeholders and nonprofit partners by asking for an introduction to someone at the foundation if they have a connection, which you will have researched during step four. If you already have some foundation partners, ask your program officers if they have connections to anyone on your foundation target list and ask them to make introductions on your behalf. If all else fails and you can't find someone to connect with at the foundation, blindly reach out and ask for a call to discuss your project with someone on their team. If you do get a call with the program officer, be prepared to give a brief overview of your organization, followed by an introduction to the specific program or project that you're seeking funding for, and how you think that it might fit in with the foundation's priorities, given what you understand about their work. Be sure to leave lots of time on the call to listen to the program officer's feedback on your project. They can share invaluable information on how foundations work, what their processes for seeking funding is like, how likely they are to work with new partners, how large typical first-time grants are, and more. A good rule of thumb is to talk only about 50% of the time and listen for the rest of the time. Before ending the call, be sure to come away with next steps. Next steps ideally would be a clear process for submitting a proposal, but this often doesn't happen during an initial call. Other steps might include setting a time period to follow back up with the program officer. For example, if there isn't a direct fit at this time, you may ask to follow up again in six months to update them on your work and to hear about any changes to their priorities. Other examples of next steps could be inviting them to tour your building or attend an event, or asking them to introduce you to a colleague or a foundation that might be a better fit for your work. Keep in mind that working with foundations depends on cultivating a relationship with them. Any opportunity to get to know them and to allow them to get to know your organization is a win. Step six, be diligent about your follow-up. Once you've begun building a relationship with the foundation by having a call with a program officer, it's important to follow up and stay on top of agreed upon next steps. Always be sure to send an email after the call, thanking them for their time, and quickly recap any next steps that you discussed during the call. You'll also want to keep track of this conversation and the next steps in your internal records. Be sure to follow through on anything that you agreed to do. Finally, add them to your mailing list. This is a great way to stay in touch and let them learn more about your organization. I hope that these six steps will be an effective guide for you as you look for foundation grants. Seeking grants for foundations can help your organization expand and build its work, ultimately moving you closer to meeting your mission and vision. To do this, first be clear about what specific program or project you're seeking funding for. Then build a list of potential foundation partners. Next, you'll want to narrow and prioritize your list. Finally, attempt to have a call with a program officer at your targeted foundations and be diligent in your follow-up with them. Throughout the entire process, remember to stay focused on building relationships. 
Partnering with foundations can take time, but by building trust with them, you can grow your partnership over the long term. Be sure to check out the accompanying exercise to help you begin your own grant research. Thank you for learning with me and good luck in your grant seeking.